Mrs. Mark, do you think it would be pretentious if I added a mailbox segment to the Gothith Handyman channel? No, I think that would be a good idea. I think you should maybe wait until somebody sends you something, then do like a little bit of a, an unboxing or a mailbox type. But people have, sent, people have sent us stuff. Have they? Yeah, I've got oh, quite a lot of stuff. And well, I feel guilty that I haven't... You haven't done it. Well, I have, I've kind of said thank you via email or however they got in touch. No, if you've got stuff that people, fans, have sent you, then you want to unbox it and show people and give a shout out and say thank you and, and that's great. And then maybe in that you could then kind of tell other people about your PO box because you haven't had one for so long. And, and you don't think it's pretentious? Absolutely not. No way. Because at the end of the day, you you do this because you enjoy doing it. You like teaching people about different things. And, and, and because people always give you amazing feedback, you keep doing it. So these are the same people who are sending you stuff. So it should come full circle. As they send you stuff, you should then say thank you back. And, you know, it's a partnership, isn't it? I think you're right. I'd best go to the post office. Go pick your parcels. <coughs> Welcome to a brand new mailbag section of the channel and before you say it, no, I wasn't sent a friggin bench grinder for free. I've, I've paid for that out of my hard earned cash I'll have you know. But I figured I'd open it on this because since this is the first mailbag I haven't got that much stuff to open. And I've got this box here which I've bought myself which I think I know what it is. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Love root beer. So this is my shiny new record power. What is it? The RSBG6 bench grinder. I ended up having to return the Axminster one that I bought because it had some major vibration issues and uh, it would have been no use for running the CBN wheel. So this is the brand new model uh, six inch bench grinder from Record Power, which I'm gonna try instead. It's right on the baseline of the kind of minimum power requirements for a CBN wheel, but I think it'll be all right. Let's have a look. Oh, bloody hell, it's heavy. There she is. Check it out, lovely jubbly. Now, my big question with this one is what's the vibration like on it? Obviously it should really be attached to the bench, but uh, we'll give it a blast, see how it goes. That's spot on. Nice and quiet. Pretty much no vibration whatsoever and that's just with the uh, factory supplied wheels on it as well I'll be putting new wheels on so Bob on five-year guarantee as well I'm very excited to get this up and running watch this space right this is check it out my new cyclone ultra cheap made in the Jiangsu province of China, Nantong City. 
Anyone from Nantong City watching? I suppose not. I don't know. Is YouTube still blocked in China? I don't know. Anyway, it was ultra cheap. It's pretty much the cheapest cyclone you can buy. It's not very big, but we'll see how it does because I'm going to start building my new dust collection stuff very, very soon and I will keep you posted with progress. But it seems to be made of nylon. It seems to be pretty, pretty robust, which I'm quite pleased about. Jobs are good. Let's have a look at the instructions. These are always good for a laugh. Cyclone installation essentials. The drilling drawing attached to the barrel head, then press the icon size drilling. Uh, we've got half a sentence here that just says discharge net gas is large. Oh, is that? Oh, here we go. Failure phenomenon. The dust in the discharge net gas is large. Anyway, <laughs> we'll find one more funny thing in the instructions. <laughs> uh, due to the large fan manufacturers, pipe sizes varies. Sometimes users need their own hands to solve adapter. That's quite funky though, what's this? Where you can run like six of them at the same time. I'm sure it'll do the job. Look at this. This is from Paul Taylor. Thank you very much, Paul. Look at this. That's incredible, Paul. Wow. So Paul has sent me a flappy paddle for my DW745 table saw. The, uh, the 745, it's a right pain in the neck getting to the stop button on it. And that's gorgeous. It looks like it's made of, I don't know what that is, mahogany or... I don't know. It looks like maybe mahogany. Paul, that's absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for sending us that. That's absolutely brilliant. I shall get that fitted. And once it's fitted, I will show you it on the saw in operation. So this is from Peter Wood up in sunny Glasgow. Peter has sent me some Valchromat to have a look at. So let me, I'll show you this. Valchromat's quite interesting. So Valchromat is basically pre-coloured MDF. Oh, it smells weird. It smells completely different than normal MDF. Presumably that's something to do with the way the, uh, the pigments are embedded in it. It feels a lot kind of smoother grain structure than normal MDF. So we've got some black here, more black, some red. So I'm assuming, so that'll be red all the way through. I'll have to, I'll cut a bit on the, uh, on the chop saw. So yeah, Valchromat's colored all the way through the MDF. That's amazing. I don't know anything, I've never used it. It feels a lot stronger than normal MDF. It feels a lot denser. He did mention that the sizes are slightly different as well. Let me get the calipers on it. So this red stuff is just over 12 mil, 12 and a bit mil that. 12.3 mil or thereabouts. Let's see what size the black is. Just over 16 mil, so again, about 16.3 mil. Non-standard thicknesses. So, Peter has sent me this, because I'm gonna do some Test Tuesday measurements on it, and we'll see how it compares to standard MDF. So, that's absolutely awesome. Thank you very much for that, Peter. That's really appreciated. As I say, I've, I've never used this stuff before. Totally new to me. So it'll be really interesting to try this and see what it's like to uh, to work with. That's brilliant. Keep your eyes peeled on Test Tuesday. This will be making an appearance at some point. Last one for today, let's see what this is.
from Craig Heath. Oh my word. It's a Lego man. Check this out. Oh my word, check it out. It's only a Lego Norm Abram. <laughs> that is amazing. Thank you so much, Craig. That is absolutely... You've made my day. That is brilliant. I shall put him up in my workshop and he can be overlooking everything that I'm doing and checking I've got my safety glasses on. Thank you so much to everyone who sent us stuff. That is really... I'm quite taken aback by that. I didn't think that was a thing that would be happening anytime soon on this channel. This channel's still tiny in the scheme of things on, on YouTube. But if you do want to send us something, uh, you can send us stickers for the sticker door and I will happily add you onto the sticker door. Or if you want to send us anything else, just make sure if you are sending it from overseas that it's marked as a gift so that I'm not lumbered with giant customs charges. The address is in the about section of the channel, so you should be able to find the PO box address on there. Oh, and if you would like a Gosforth Handyman sticker, I've completely run out of the ones that I used to send out for free. Um, but what I'm going to do, well, at the moment you can buy them off Teespring, but I think you'll have to cut them out yourself. And I have literally no idea what size they are, but I know a few people have ordered stickers off Teespring. Um, I will also be adding some new die cut stickers onto Teespring as well at some point when I get a chance. If you don't want to pay Teespring's extortionate prices, hold fire for a little bit because I am going to be getting stickers sent out from the UK direct and that should work out a little bit cheaper than Teespring but if you don't mind paying the five or ten quid or whatever it is to order stickers from Teespring then you can do that straight away if that's what takes your fancy. Other than that though watch this space. Very exciting things happening. Goodbye from me and goodbye from Lego Norm. <laughs>